Well, she is living, living her uh, dream right now, but what would Gina do if she was not delivering traffic in the morning? <laughs> How about delivering a baby? I like how you did that. Coming up, Gina lives out the other dream. Well, all this week, we are featuring our dream jobs here on Good Morning Arizona. And on this day after Mother's Day, it seems appropriate to feature my dream job. As a mom, I know how amazing it is to bring a life into this world. It can be one of the most monumental moments in a person's life. And I think that's why my dream job is being a part of that incredible process as a doctor. Hey, it's me, Dr. Thompson. Hey, how are you feeling? On this day, Dr. Sharon Thompson's job starts early in the morning, checking on Ana Gonzalez. She's in labor. So delivery could be this afternoon or it could be tonight. And so you will tell us. Dr. Thompson allowed me to tag along. So when you're ready, the service will be at 10 centimeters. That's the magic number, 10 That's centimeters. the magic number. And then it's time for mom to do the hard work of pushing the baby out. Dr. Thompson closely monitors both baby and mom, all while keeping everyone in the room positive and upbeat. All right, everybody ready to meet Evan? Yes. Yay, all right. Today's the day. Yes. I'm hanging in there, trying to, that's my second, so I'm just hoping it goes by, you know, a lot smoother and kind of quickly. <laughs> I'm going to play the whole role, so um, I'm going to cut the cord, I'm going to be here when she has the baby and uh, welcome him into the world. So, so you get right in there. I'm going to be right here. When it's time, Dr. Thompson shows me how to suit up. This is to cover up your clothes okay. during a delivery. Okay. Oh, I got one of these. Okay, do you, I have to put my hair up? You in get the full okay. experience. And we create a sterile space. Okay. So inside these packets, there is a gown that I would put on. Okay. You can sort of see a picture of it there. Okay. And it's sterile. Okay. So everything is in sterile packaging, so I we would see. open it. We have some drapes to make a sterile area here. And also we have instruments that are sterile. Anna's ready for delivery, so we're gonna get the cart in the room and get everything all set up. Out of respect for mom's privacy, we kept the camera outside the delivery room. But Anna was excited to share the final outcome. Oh, well, we have uh, Evan Prince Robles. Yeah, my uh, nine pounder baby, nine and one ounce. <laughs> uh, 21 inches, he's a big guy. <laughs> Anna delivered at nine o'clock in the evening after being in labor all day. So OBGYNs have the best jobs in medicine. We don't have the best schedule. We probably have the worst schedule in medicine, <laughs> but we definitely have the best jobs. Dr. Thompson says the end results are second to none. Oh, what a oh sweetie. And Dr. Thompson joins us now. Thank you for letting me tag along, first oh, of all. And it was you know, amazing. You, we had fun. Yes, we did. And, you know, you talk about the schedule. So Anna was admitted at what time in the morning? I think she came in uh, before change of shift, so that's usually before 7.30. Okay, and then she yeah. didn't deliver till 9, yeah, and you were in and out in all evening. day long and mm -hmm. there in the evening. So, yeah, yeah tough schedule, but to, but you say uh, the best Oh, my uh, goodness. Best yeah, job I mean, in medicine. You see the pictures. You can't beat it. No, I'm not going to argue yeah. with. Tell us, how many babies do you deliver, say, in a month? I it, it varies, but it can be anywhere from 10 to 20. Over that gets tiring, and I stop counting. You know, and one thing you, <laughs> I, bet, I bet, and one thing you said to me um, that you shared with me that was really special to you is when the kids come back. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing because moms will come in at six weeks postpartum, uh -huh. and then they come in for their annual visit, your routine GYN yeah. visit. So when they come for that next annual visit, they have a one-year-old. Yeah, and they're starting to babble, and then at two, they're asking for things, and it's so amazing to see this little baby. And you're responsible for yeah. that. That is yeah. really cool. So let's talk about, uh, you know, how you might get involved in this because folks at home might mm -hmm. be watching thinking, gosh, I would really love to be a part of that. Now, the full OBGYN, that is not a, a, a simple or, or short, short process. It is by no means short. Talk to me so, about the school. Yeah, like. there's four years of college okay. of undergraduate for most people. Um, and then there's four years of medical school. And for OBGYN in particular, there's four more years. That's the process called residency. For yeah. each particular kind of doctor, it's a different amount of time. For OBGYN, it's four years. And we should say you 
did your residency at Harvard, if we might not just <laughs> brag just a little bit. Uh, but if you don't want to go that full MD, nurse, sure. nursing is a oh, way to go to. delivery nursing is a great, and that's another fantastic job. And they have the joy and the privilege of being with mom the entire time she's in labor, of being by her bedside, being her support, and really caring for her and her needs in the in the moment immediately. And then neonatal nurses as well. And neonatal nurses, they're on the baby side. Yeah. So they um, train to take care of the smallest babies who have to go to the nursery. Yeah. And so they come to deliveries when we expect that there might be an issue or maybe it's really small or early. Well, Dr. Thompson, thank you, number one, for what you do, and thank you, number two, for letting us kind of get an insight into what you do. Really oh, appreciate it. it's amazing it. every day. Alrighty. Thanks for having me. Love you. Oh, we just love Dr. Thompson. It is so incredible what she does even before she visits us in the morning. It's like <laughs> more than we'll do in a lifetime she I'm, does on a I'm Monday morning. I'm curious if you've you done twins or triplets or quads or anything. Dr. Oh, I'm Thompson? guessing many times I, over. I have many twins. Well, okay, cool. <laughs> Beyond that, specialist. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Thompson.